morning. It's your voice, Chicago. I am Jay Lewis Tibbs, coming to you on this Sunday at 7.30 a.m., right before a two-hour commercial for a pot that you can cook a steak in. <laughs> Joining me to talk local politics, our lead counsel for Chicago's NAACP, Jamel Demings, and a freelance writer for The Root, Lisa Crowder. Now, there's so much talk about the national election, but today we focus on the local candidates. Which are so important. Representation begins at the street level. Indeed, indeed. So, Jamel, any strategy that you're using to vet some of these candidates? Lewis, I'll be honest. I'm voting for everybody black. Everybody black? That's right. For too long, our people's voices have not been heard. It's our duty to stand together and take our power back. Okay, okay, I hear you. Hey, hey representation matters. So let's first look at Cook County's third district, where four-time incumbent Frank Pulaski is running against 29-year-old lawyer Charlotte Raines. Now, Charlotte has no experience in politics. Which is exactly why we need her. This is what I'm talking about, new voices. Mm -hmm. It's the only way any change will happen. Okay, I, I like that. You bet on black girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like we got a favorite there. Let's go to District 10, which features a billionaire. Incumbent Scott Trevor is running against the challenger, Rashad Carter. A billionaire? Now, see, how can someone who's so rich know anything about us? Okay, money corrupts the whole system. Well, no, actually, Rashad Carter is the billionaire. He owns a software company. Mm, and I find that so inspiring. <laughs> you know, we need more entrepreneurs like that in our community. Look, at least he pays his taxes. That's right. I got to go with the Democrat on this one. Well, Scott Trevor is the Democrat. Rashad Carter is a libertarian. Which is what I like about him, you know? <laughs> He's an independent thinker. OK, great. Let's go to the city comptroller race between Democrat Catherine Lacey and independent candidate, the <laughs> Reverend D'Angelo Banks. No, sorry. I knew this man in elementary school. For some reason, he had a dookie stain on his shoulder. So he's a pastor now? Well, he's only been a reverend for eight months, and he has no church. He says that God has got him on layaway. Let's take a look at one of his recent town halls. Hey, to the men. Yes, friends, the rumors are true. I spent money on a lot of strippers. But you have to understand that was only because I owned a chain of strip clubs. But I put that life behind me right after the clubs were shut down for tax fraud. Hallelujah. Outlaw masturbation. All of it. Amen. <laughs> Looks like that town hall took place outside of a dry cleaners. All right, do we like Reverend Banks? Absolutely. Oh, come on. He just said he committed tax fraud. The comptroller handles the city's money. Which is perfect. He knows the system and all the loopholes. It'd be like hiring Wesley Snipes to do your taxes. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over to District 6, where the district's first Asian representative, Daniel Lee, is running against a conservative online duo that was featured on Fox News and recently spoke at the CPAC convention, Crystal and Caviar. You know, I actually didn't know it was legal to run as a team. Oh, it's not. Either way, their newest live stream video came out today. Why don't we take a look? The media is always putting out fake news. Always? They say our president lies. Come on. But he is not a liar. Well, sometimes he just exaggerates. Mm hmm And they say we have to wear a mask in the grocery store. No. Nope. But I don't need a mask, because I am blessed. The mask is death. The mask is death. Can't go all day smelling my own breath. Okay. Jamel, your thoughts on crystal and caviar? Mm, give me a minute. You know, I I'm sorry, but these two have absolutely no way. I got it. Stay with me. These ladies are passionate. And we need more of that in politics, right? I guess. And Daniel Lee has been in office for 18 years now. We want someone who's been out there working in the real world. Well, both Crystal and Caviar are unemployed. Which is why we need to give them jobs as state representatives. <laughs> Lift them up. OK, I'm lifting, but sometimes it's hard. <laughs> it's actually not that hard. Why don't we take a break? When we come back, we'll talk about the presidential race between Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and Kanye West. Kanye, F him. Thank <laughs> you.